Hello everybody, my name is Flame and welcome to my Minecraft Ravine Starter Base Part 3. So I finally did more on this starter base and I think it looks way better. So I added um, two things, well a few more than two things. I have added a couple trees. I have added this kind of like stargazer type thing. And then over there, I added a barn, which I don't think it's finished, but I think it looks decent. Inside of it, here there's a skeleton. Apparently skeletons can um, spawn here. I didn't light it up 100%, but yeah. Here I keep my skeleton horses, and I keep my sheep. And then over here, this is, it doesn't look too good. <laughs> It doesn't look the best, it's not my best work, but it's my iron farm, if I can actually get in here. This is my iron farm, and it's, um, it's, uh, you don't need any mobs. It can be in peaceful mode to make this iron farm, which I think that is really cool. And then I, do, I didn't change anything down at the bottom of the ravine base. But I did add a few trees, which I think look really good. Um, I usually, um, I, as I said before in other videos, I haven't really like made many trees, but um, I think my trees actually turn out pretty well. And that's, honestly, that's pretty much it for here. So let's go to the shopping district. So here I am in the shopping district. And as you can see, I added a few more shops. Here is my ender pearl shop. It's actually free ender pearls, which I think is really funny because here there are very overpriced ender pearls, a diamond per stack. And there is my ender pearl shop, which I actually made a good looking ender pearl instead of just a blue outline. And it's free and I even have more stock. And then over here, I haven't quite finished it yet, but this is going to be a um, mycelium, sh mycelium shop and a um, like mushroom block shop. And that's practically it for the shopping district. I wanted to make this have be actually the growing area, but it isn't enough space. And also, I you know, I have this whole area over here and my... I also have my mushroom island. So I just have this, and that's pretty much it for the shopping district. And now, let's head to my mega base. So here I am at my mega base. It isn't quite mega, but as you can see, I changed a few things. Well, dug out a few more things. And now I have even more plans for this mega base. So. Before, I was just going to take it, take it out and then just add a couple islands. Now, I have slightly bigger plans. So as you can see right here, this is like the whole main section of the Mushroom Island. And I also have to get rid of that, but that's going to be later. And now, I'm going after I finish like clearing out this whole area, I will make this ginormous hole right here. And it will kind of be like a mini mountain range going all the way down to bedrock. And then, around it, at the top, about here, there will be a um, island. A little island with a bridge going to the middle of the hole. And at the middle of the hole, there will be this ginormous, like that sized, over there, rock going down from bedrock even higher, like to about there in um, higher than sea level. So I think that that would be really cool. And then I'm gonna add like, I don't know, I'm gonna add like a castle on top of it. And I think it will be like really cool, um, in my opinion. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, and if you enjoy this video and all my other videos, make sure to subscribe. See you next video.